Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Well, they titled it Dan and Thomas Both Show Up to Shauna's Charity Event. Isn't that fun? It's I Am Shauna Ray. It's a girl who's 22 years old and looks eight. We made fun of a video yesterday where it showed a guy she's possibly dating. I said he was British. People said, well, actually, one person said he's Australian, so I want to find out. That is the main reason I'm watching this clip right now. And I can't watch these clips without filming myself because I'm going to be saying shit about it out loud anyway. But if this is the first time you're ever seeing I Am Shauna Ray or me, I just talk shit about people. That's pretty much this whole channel. Check the about. But I Am Shauna Ray is about a 22-year-old. That's it. The only thing interesting about her is she literally looks eight and kind of acts eight. And that's because of like how her parents treat her. They treat her like an eight-year-old. It's really funny. It's a problem. She's also a bitch. Let's find out. I obviously don't watch these before I talk shit about them, so if it's bad, it's TLC's fault. This is how they try and entice you to watch their hour-long episode. But before we hop into this, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on Patreon.com slash WineboxPoppy. You guys truly help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why most YouTubers like mute and bleep out swears. If I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so angry. And something I would never do is censor myself for money. That goes, like, against everything I believe in. So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. Bye. I don't think it's weird at all that two guys I've been on romantic dates with, in a sense, are at the same event. How is that not weird to you? Oh, because she has the mind of an eight-year-old. As if most men don't have fragile egos. But is one of them the guy who has the same condition as her? You're just going to give the other guy profound confidence. The last guy in the last episode, tall, good-looking dude, European. Other dude, short, had cancer, firefighter. Tommy had fun and Dan had fun. They didn't have fun together. <laughs> no, I don't think any of the worlds collided. Really. No. I, don't, I didn't see them. I saw them on well, opposite sides. Well, they sat at opposite sides, yeah. Couldn't even sit with each other. They have a similar interest and couldn't even talk about it. Hey, you also think kids are hot? <laughs> Give me some skin, brother. Oh, dude, you're not 12? I have to exit this conversation. What? What? So on your next break, would you like to dance? I don't dance. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I danced with you I last don't. week. No, you didn't dance with me. You danced next to me. That's a difference. Okay. I honestly didn't hear a fucking word they were saying. I was trying to listen if this dude is British or Australian or not. I'm trying to listen to how he says you, because, like, Australians say you with an R at the end. It's hilarious. This dude's fucking really towing the line with accents here. Or maybe I'm just American. I don't know. There's this one guy in uh, the open mic scene. He has an accent. I'm like, your accent's Australian. He's like, no, it's not. He said, they stole the accent from us. And I was like, so I'm right. So we're not going to dance. <laughs> fine. No, no. It's... No, it's fine. I'll do it. OK. <laughs> if it's not too much of a chore. Bye, Dan. Bye. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I just can't tell. Right now, I'm leaning towards British. But I heard the hint of Australian. That's what this whole episode's gonna be about. <laughs> bet down below. This episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Go ahead and bet on who's gonna fuck her down below. Links in description. I'm just kidding. I've never had a real sponsor. Dan, what's his name? Dan. Where is he from? Wales. Oh. I could have just waited three seconds. I, I honestly, I hate that that didn't help me at all. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck is Wales? Luckily, I have a computer right here. That's why we couldn't pinpoint it. By we, I mean me. It's because he's neither. Where is Wales? Probably the dumbest thing I've ever typed into my search bar. Aside from what is a clitoris? Okay. Oh, Great Britain. He's British. Told you. Yes. God, it feels good to be right. Okay, let's watch this shit show. I haven't actually really thought about if Dan and I were in a relationship and how that would look. I assume that we would probably try a long distance, but I've been in a long distance relationship. It's not my cup of tea. I wonder how that would look. Oh, he'd look like a pedophile. But you don't want to do long distance? Are you trying to get on TLC's other show, 90 Day Fiance? God, this girl's fucking selfish. You have a whole TV show about you, bitch. But as I was relighting my joint, it just kind of hit me. Isn't it crazy how stupid this TV show is? Hey, look, it's a 22-year-old girl just talking about dating a guy from a different country. There's literally nothing special about this. Literally, the whole premise of the show is, ha ha, you look young. How is this show continuing, dude? I mean, seeing guys be attracted to her is inherently compelling. 
I mean, To Catch a Predator was pretty popular. If TLC was funny or good at all, they would pull a prank on one of the guys and have Chris Hansen and just show up just to see the guy freak out and shit. Um, so either he would have to find a settle down place or I would have to either start traveling with him or do something. How did you guys meet? He messaged me on social media. Like okay. He messaged me and then sent me flowers. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, I would love to see those DMs. Does she say in her bio how old she is? He had to have just seen the show. That's what I'm coming to. Like, there's no way he likes this bitch. Nobody likes her. He's not attracted to how she looks because she's not even a good looking kid. Dude, when I was a hate, I was adorable. I had hair. Would you be in a fake relationship for Instagram followers? Let me know. You'd get about 50,000. Is that worth it? Kind of. So did he just come here to uh, get Visit? to know you? Yeah, I think I'm the main reason. Do you see how she said get to know you? Oh, so he came all the way here just to blow your back out and be on TV? OK. I'm sure that was a really hard choice for him. It sounds like it, yeah. I think so. That's I don't, I don't know many people that are from other countries that just come to Long Island. <laughs> right? Do you think you'll go visit him in uh, Wales? He wants to take me to Malaysia for a wedding. So. Oh. That's a lot. He wants to take me to Malaysia for a wedding. I don't even know where Malaysia is. Asia? But if you didn't watch the episode before this, this guy's like a, a traveler. He likes to travel. Do you like traveling? I keep saying comment down below, but there's a lot of things I want you to comment about because I don't understand that. Somebody asked me to go to a wedding in Malaysia. I'd be like, can we do a Zoom call? You want me to get on a flight that's more than six hours? To me, that's like the longest flight I would ever do. Yeah. Okay, that's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> when is that wedding? February. This February, I think so. Dan taking Sean out of the country, I think it'd be really cool. I think she'd have a good time. For her whole life, she's been treated like a child. Now out of nowhere, he's like, dude, you should go travel. You should be sex trafficked. You are so susceptible to being stolen. You could put her in a fucking Happy Meal box. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know if I'd be as concerned if Shauna went on a trip with Dan because she's with Dan. I mean, I think that the first thing he would do is protect Shauna. You think the first thing he would do is protect Shauna, a bitch he barely knows? If the cameras aren't there, he's not even going to talk to her. That's wild. He's going to protect Shauna. Imagine, dudes jump out of a van and they're about to take her. You think he's going to intervene? You know what he's gonna do? Run away. He's gonna fucking kick out her kneecaps and be like, take her! And by the time I believe that they would actually do something like that, we would know him better and be more comfortable. Yeah, I was gonna say, you have a lot of trust in this guy you barely know. I mean, I met him, he seems nice. I have complete trust in him to protect my daughter overseas. He has as much care for her as I do. Everybody looks at her as a little girl. My thoughts on all of this are they're bold-faced liars. They probably wouldn't let me do it if it actually happened. They can talk about the imaginative situation, but this woman would not let me go anywhere, like across the country. You see how she's talking right now? These people wouldn't let me go anywhere? What do you mean by that? You're 22 years old. Actually, I saw she's 23. You know what you can do? If your parents say, no, you can't go to Malaysia, you go to Malaysia. Doesn't that just want to make you do it more? Unless she had me, like, under a microscope almost. Wow, I'm glad that's over. That's pretty telling. Of course, she has helicopter parents. Is she the oldest kid? I'm not sure. But of course, like, her growing up, they were probably overly protective of her, you know, because she was uh, that size her whole life. When she stopped growing at the age of four, they were probably like, Jesus fucking Christ. Hopefully she's normal, and nope, she, she's just a bitch. She wasn't that much of a bitch during this one, but she did invite two guys she's fucking to the same party, and one is so much clearly a better choice. Everybody in a blind test would pick that guy because you just go to feel where the short guy is, and you're like, there's not a person here. To be honest, I'm just glad we found out where the guy's from. That's really the only reason I wanted to talk shit about this clip. British. This dude's a fucking whale. That's a stupid name for a place. Wales. But I also live in Illinois. So that's also pretty stupid. Why is the S silent? Why do these guys want to have sex with her? Why is she on TV? Okay, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this down below. Having the two guys there is wild. It's like, you don't know anything about guys, do you? 
if the other guy was taller, they'd be in a fight. But thanks for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so much. Did you know I do stand-up comedy and post every single set on my second channel, youtube.com slash Markarski? I have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. Like I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast breaking down how the set went. And I think this video is not going to be coming out the day I film it because today I'm actually going to be going to host at the Comedy Vault in Batavia. Are we ready to get started? Yeah. All right, I need you to get real loud Wednesday. Get real loud. So I'll be like, I'll going up on stage, bringing each comedian up. I'll like, I'll start out by doing five minutes, then I'll go up between each comedian and have them come up. Last week they had 41 comics. So it might be a long night, but it's my second time hosting it like an actual club. So I'm super excited. If you want to see the evolution of the stand-up, it shows you open mic once, episode 134 I just posted. And I think people are interested in what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. And I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before. So I think like legacy-wise, 10 years from now, it's going to be super cool to see like the every single day of it. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Markarski. If you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.